Hi everyone, my name is King Ivy, and this is Introduction to Excel Basics. And today we'll be covering the seventh lesson of a series of eight lesson set, which is on pivot tables. So let's get started. So hopefully everyone has the Excel Basics data sheet Excel open, and I'll provide a link in the description below. So pivot tables are really handy at quickly analyzing and summarizing information. So let's just get to it and you'll see you'll see the benefits of, of doing pivot tables really quickly. They're really quick at getting the answers um, very quickly, obviously. So what we want to do is go to the insert tab and we want to go to pivot table. And then what it's going to do is it's going to auto select all the columns until it reaches a blank column and then all the rows. Uh, within the data set and then you have a couple options you can go to new worksheet use the existing worksheet I usually always click new worksheet just because you'll see you'll see in a moment why so it's gonna bring it to a new worksheet called sheet one if you already have a sheet one it's gonna be sheet two etc etc so for example if I wanted to know uh, and there's four there's four categories filters columns rows values if I wanted to know applications I wanted to know what the capacity is by application status all you have to do is grab application status to the row label and it basically uh, provides all the unique values in rows and then I just have to write capacity to value and you'll see right away really quick to get the answer on like what the what's the sum of the approval so for example if I didn't want to do some I wanted to do the average I can click here and see what the average is. So it's really quick at flipping between if I want to see what the max was, um, etc. So perhaps I want to see the max, and then I want to see the max by the different uh, project types. So what I would do is then drag project type to columns, and now I can see what the max is across these different project types based off of the different approvals, uh, application statuses, and then obviously the totals. So a really quick and easy way of understanding how the information flows and, and how to get summarized answers to that. Say for example, let's start over again. Let's say, let's say application status, I want to go uh, location. And I wanted all the, uh, how many, how many different uh, projects are in each region? So all I have to do is drag it here, and then you'll see, well, you'll actually I'll drag a non-blank one. So let's drag application status here, and basically it's going to count all the non-blank rows. So here it counted. There's three projects in the application status. So if I wanted to, I can also like double click, and when I double click, it's going to provide me the details for these ones. So you can see really quickly on how how it quickly analyze it say for example i only wanted to look at the ones that were approved so instead of counting application tests i bring it up here and then i click on approved and then i add in capacity here and then project cost you'll see really quickly how you can quickly slice and dice the data uh, using pivot tables so Let's say I want to enhance my data, and we're going to use a, a component that we learned from last lesson. We're going to put in the region. So I'm going to put in region, and then we're going to do a VLOOKUP. And if I go back to sheet one, you'll see that region isn't on here. But if I go to design, Sorry, not, uh, go to analyze and press refresh. And I were to add region above row. Now I can, for example, see what the capacity and cost are by region. And if I want to look at the more details by location, then I can click this plus sign button and it allows us to, for me to see the, to the, the actual details by these different products. So, Pivot tables, super critical at analyzing data and really getting the answer quick, really quickly. So hopefully that was helpful and I will speak to you soon. Thank you. Have a good day.